Hello everyone, thank you so much for uh, sitting and watching this video. Um, I know I promised this video, uh, or videos, this will be a series of videos um, ages ago. People, uh, what should I, I, I thought about, be, okay, there are different things that we are going, we, I need to be discussing. And I promise that I will be doing a detailed videos. So I can say, if you want to sit and watch, maybe you pause, you go to grab a drink and come and sit and watch. And you can be writing every comment or any question and always in the uh, uh, co uh, comments section below. I will be reading all the comments and I will be replying as much as possible uh, to the uh, all the questions. But please be polite in your questions. Uh, and if you find someone have asked the same question before, you can just uh, uh, sit, yeah, sit back, chill out. I will be answering the question and you will find your um, uh, questions answered later so let's start i was thinking okay because lots of people are thinking about either studying in sweden or working in sweden and maybe most of the question is about uh, working in sweden then uh, studying in sweden and then starting business in sweden like startup projects but i thought before thinking about moving to sweden we have to talk about the social life in sweden and this is a big thing some people leave the country because of the social side or the social angle of sweden sweden they are very nice extremely nice polite people um they really as much as they can, they try to treat everyone equally. So the thing of discrimination, you will, you will, yeah, you will feel it sometimes, but of course it's not as bad as in other countries. So they do not rub it in your face being unacceptable to what you do or being intolerant. They are very tolerant people, extremely tolerant people. So um, this is, of course, has two sides of the coin because one part you feel, oh, everyone is very nice and very polite, but on the other side of the coin you say, but you never know what they are thinking because they are wearing this mask that they have to be very polite. And I hear when I talk about mask, it's not the Joker mask. I mean, with the mask here is that they want to be doing their best, their best to be behaving politely. Um, in Sweden, that's why when I say the thing that the social part is very important because some people come to the country and they are very talented and they live after two and three years because they cannot stand it. The social life there, because there is no social life actually. Well, you have to try hard to have a social life if you want to have Swedish friends. They are very close to themselves. So uh, it's not because you are coming from a different race. It's because they are so happy with their, their friends or the family members they have uh, in their life. So they don't want to add someone else. Let me give you an example. You could be friends with someone for seven, eight years, and it could be a, a Swedish friend, friend to another Swedish friend, a colleague, for example, yes? They never visit them at home, for example, because everyone wants to, uh, to go out and have fika, and then they don't want to invite people in because then it means that they need to clean and fix the flat and there is no time for this. Or they would say, why do I have to invite someone uh, to my place? And why don't I just go and have a drink outside? So it, this is how it is. You could be friend for years with someone and you never visited this person. Another thing that... Um, Sweden is, of course, very popular about the family uh, structure uh, in the country. So people actually do not have time. If people are married and have children, it means that they have loads of things to do. And they, most of the time, the couples are depending on themselves. Sometimes they depend on their parents. But this is not very popular because of many things. The parents could be already retired and they are enjoying their life in another country. Or maybe the... the 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 grandparents are not living in the same city so the the, the, the father and mother have to look after the child alone uh, or it could be that the uh, that the grandparents are busy with the other grandchildren of their other uh, uh, daughters or, or sons so they are not free on weekends so there are lots of things making the the sweet person very 
uh, stressed. Although the word that you would hear every single day is the word interstress. You don't have to be stressed. Everything will be okay. Interstress. But every single person is stressed. So the day of a uh, normal sweet person is they wake up 5.30. They either go out to jog or to run. Come back. Have a very quick shower. Uh, get uh, get their uh, uh, breakfast uh, fixed, have a quick breakfast or have it in the train, go to the work, start the work, or maybe if it was the father or the mother, they have to be uh, dropping the children uh, first and then go to work, finish work, go back. Uh, they are commuting from from uh, their work back home. Maybe they want to be picking up the children or maybe if they didn't go uh, exercise in the morning, they want to be exercising in the evening and sometimes they want to be meeting someone of uh, some of their friends or old friends or so so they don't have there is no time in the, the weekdays when it comes to the weekends then they are so much busy with the children or if they were single they are busy with themselves they want to be exercising they want to be going for spa they want to go uh, 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 for fika and fika is very important thing my dear never ever try to skip fika fika is a traditional thing here what is fika is the coffee and cinnamon bun and the fika it means at the break time it's not so the fika is the coffee and the bun but the thing is with the fika it's the social aspect of the fika so um, wherever you are whatever you are any position you are you can't skip the fika. If you were a prime minister, if you were uh, a, a, a labor worker, the fika time is really uh, idolized in this country. So this is the thing with a little bit of the aspect life here. So we are talking about people who have children. If they don't have children, why they are sometimes skeptical about the new people because, okay, for them to have a new friend, it means it's a new responsibility. It's uh, someone who they have to uh, be calling or meeting or celebrating birthdays with them. Or um, if they were sick, they have to check on them. So friendship is uh, something valued here. And to have a friend is not just, hey, bro, yeah, let's uh, go and hang out and drink something. No, no, no. It's, it's everything has to be planned. Nothing is spontaneous. Nothing is spontaneous. Everything has to be very much planned. So, you know, the, the, the feeling of in some people who are watching the video, are they are in, in their countries where they can just go and knock the door. Or they can just call the friend anytime or keep texting each other. But, or you can have... Um, uh, a message like yeah let's go and come and all meet in after two hours in th this spot and people will come it's not like this this spontaneous gathering is not there and uh, of course another thing remember that we're in Sweden, Sweden is the uh, up in the north so in December we have six hours of light and sometimes it could be five and certain part of Sweden you have the whole winter the, the light is only the daylight is only for one hour and in summer you don't have night at all or maybe you can have it like 20 minutes and it's day all day long so definitely the seasonal depression is part of the thing um, lots of people are on tablets i have to say i'm really sorry sweet if you are watching this video but the depression here is a big thing uh, lots of people are depressed lots of people are on tablets and this goes back to, uh, to hundreds of things. Weather can be something. Another thing that the, that the, the, the social expectations that you have to be uh, uh, working and, or studying and having a family, having a children, and you have to do it well. It's not, when I say here, uh, uh, working, having a good job, or, uh, uh, looking after your family, it's not in this way like some people have in their countries. You know, it, this is more of the way that, um, you have to work hard because Sweden give you everything, so you have to work for this.